So hi guys, welcome to my new channel. This is Keith and for today's video, I will show you kung paano ko napagana itong PLDT home Wi-Fi ko. So we know that um, Rocket SIM is no longer working with your PLDT home Wi-Fi but I am able to make it work with my Rocket SIM with only data for $199. So pag-uusapan natin today kung paano ko siya ginawa. I just changed the IMEI of my PLDT home device. I know it sounds complicated but to be honest guys, it's not that complicated. It's super easy lang and it's safe and also secure. So there is no need for you to worry about doing this step. So without further ado guys, I will go ahead and open my laptop for me to show you the step-by-step -step process on how I did change my IMEI and disable my PLDT. So let's go ahead and go to my laptop screen. So this is my laptop screen guys and first thing first, open your notepad. So kailangan mo lang talaga ng laptop or desktop guys. Yan yung requirements dito para magawa mo tong mga step. Tapos gawin nyo to. And I know it looks difficult right now with all of this information. But I swear to you guys, the process is not that complicated as you think it is. So here under your information, palitan nyo na lang ng information nyo dito or information ng device nyo. And no worries guys, you just need to copy and paste everything. So punta kayo sa description details ng video na to below. So down there. Nilagay ko ito lahat sa description box and you just need to copy and paste na lang po. So, super easy, di ba? So, copy and paste it to your notepad. Tapos, provide your device information first here. So, complete everything here. So, for those people na hindi alam kung paano kukunin yung IMEI, so paano mo siya makukuha, IMEI ng PLDT Home Wi-Fi mo. So, simple. You have two ways. You can check it from your device. Just look the IMEI from your device. Nasa ilalim siya if you are using PLDT Home Wi-Fi Model 051. If hindi mo siya makikita, then the other way is to access your PLDT Home Wi-Fi Portal. So, paano mo siya gawin? Connect mo lang yung device mo sa PLDT or your laptop mo sa PLDT Home Wi-Fi and it's okay if wala kang data or internet sa PLDT home Wi-Fi mo. Tapos, open mo lang yung browser mo like your Chrome browser for example. Tapos, sa URL address, type mo lang yung IP address ng PLDT home Wi-Fi which is 192.168.1.1. Then, log in lang kayo sa portal nyo. If this is your first time na ginawa ang mag-access ng PLDT portal, then you have your default username and password sa device nyo under the PLDT home device. For first time sign in, you'll be asked to change or update your portal username and password. So, gawin nyo lang yan. Tapos, madi-disconnect kayo sa Wi-Fi nyo. So, just reconnect your device again to your PLDT Wi-Fi gamit yung new password. Tapos, access nyo again your portal nyo, sign in using your new password na. Click nyo lang ang skip button here. And tapos, dito makikita nyo ang IMEI nyo. So, copy and paste it to your notepad. Makikita rin ninyo ang PLDT Home Wi-Fi version nyo dito. So, I have mine PLDT Home Wi-Fi model R051 version 10.1 and itong IMEI dito is no longer the original IMEI number of my PLDT Wi-Fi kasi I already updated this one so this is now the IMEI of my smartphone Android. So since the smart rocket works in smartphones that's why we need to change and use the IMEI of the phone where our rocket sim works. So copy the original IMEI, then paste it in your notepad. So before you proceed to the next step, make sure that you completed all your information here. So enter your phone IMEI here as well, na gusto nyong gamitin sa PLDT home Wi-Fi nyo. And note guys, you can still add back your original IMEI of your PLDT, so there's no need for you to worry. You just need to do the same process if you want to change it back to the original. So now it's time for us to do the second step. Disable your PLDT firmware para makapagpalit tayo ng IMEI. So here you need to make sure na may internet connection kayo. Pwede kayong mag-connect sa ibang Wi-Fi or sa device nyo mag-share ng kayo ng hotspot kasi kailangan natin mag-download ng app. So here, 
just go to your Chrome browser, tapos Google nyo itong REST MAN extension. Then, download nyo lang siya sa Chrome extension nyo. Nakapag-download na ako. So, tapos makikita nyo yan sa Chrome extension nyo up here. Tapos, once downloaded, reconnect nyo naman ulit sa PLDT Wi-Fi nyo. Tapos, here we do the firmware disable. So, log in again sa PLDT portal nyo. Tapos, kapag nakapag-log in na kayo, punta lang kayo dito sa Chrome extension. Tapos, click nyo yung REST MAN. Here, copy and paste lang tayo. So, open your notepad and copy nyo lang tong postcode dito. Tapos, paste nyo dito. And then, click on get and change it to post. Then, punta tayo sa body. Click body. And then, click on row. Then, go to your notepad again and copy the body row code. And then, paste it here. And once done, over here, you can click this send icon. I will not gonna click it because my PLDT Wi-Fi is now all set. But you should make sure that you will see this message or code showing OK. If you will encounter some error, guys, then double check your Wi-Fi. You need to make sure that you are that your computer or laptop is connected to the PLDT Wi-Fi that you want to disable the firmware and change the IMEI. And also, make sure na nakapag-log in kayo sa PLDT portal nyo para maiwasan yung error. So, once done, time for the third step. Install the Puty app. Hindi ko alam kung tama ba ang pag-pronounce ko sa app na to. Basta pagbasa ko, Puty. So, yun na yun. Puty app in your computer. So, just copy this link here from your notepad and paste it in your Chrome URL. And it will automatically download in your PC the Puty app. And go to the download file and click the downloaded file. And then you will open this beauty window. So here it's time for us to do the last step, changing the IMEI. So first, here enter your IP address that is the 192.168.1.1. And make sure that your port is 23. You can change it to 23. And make sure you selected here the other and then Telnet. And just click on open. And here we open the telnet of our PLDT Wi-Fi using this Beauty app. But for those people prompted to log in page, just use the Beauty login that I included below on my description. But if not, then let's proceed to the next step. Just copy first the UBUS call version and paste it here by doing the right click on your mouse. Then hit enter on our keyboard then make sure that you see this OK code. Then copy again the second UBUS from your notepad and right click your mouse to paste it here and click enter again. And make sure the code showing OK. Then the last one before you copy it, replace first this new IMEI with your smartphone IMEI that you want to use in your PLDT Wi-Fi. So, pasensya na may nag sa labas ng mga aso. So, let's proceed. Once done, copy this third UBUS and make sure that you will also see the OK code. And with that, we are all set. So, here just type exit to close this window. Now, it's time for us to reset our PLDT home Wi-Fi. So, you can long press the reset button on your PLDT Wi-Fi or you can do it inside the portal. Just reset it here. And once done, pag nakapag-reset na kayo, log into your portal again and you'll be asked again to update your password. So just update it and you will disconnect and just reconnect at your PLDT Wi-Fi and log into your portal again. And once you successfully log in, check if the IMEI has been changed and if it is the right IMEI of your smartphone showing up in your PLDT portal. And if everything is correct, then use your PLDT Wi-Fi with your Smart Rocket SIM and you will be surprised that it works. So I hope that you learned and enjoyed this video. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button below and comment if you have any question. And please support my new channel by subscribing to my channel. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and enjoy your... PLDT home Wi-Fi with your smart rocket sim.